following the Turkish invasion of Cyprus in 19... In the last six months. And that was about this. A row over plans to repaint the phone box. Now, I did some checking. Thornbury, Box, Highbridge, Yatton, all these places and others received at least a dozen mentions. I think viewers are missing out. Do you want to know when it's all really happening? Then follow me. Apparently, it was simply called Nemplet until the day King George III, so the story goes, passed through the village. And some of the locals gave him some tea cakes or something, and it was awful. And the sound he made when he spat it out, well, it became the second part of the name, you know. Thrup! <laughs> well, apparently that's the way the story goes. Oh, I love to be in good old Nemplet It's a heaven dropped by angels from the sky And I hope they bury me Deep an emplet rubwell tree But first I hope they wait until I die But first I hope they until I die. There you go, a short taster there of the hidden delights of the Chew Valley. So, a message to all you local TV companies, next time you're looking for a good local story, try the Chew Valley. You'll find everything you need right here. And, whatever the story, you won't find a problem with the setting. Cheers. Kevin, it's obvious, having seen that, that the person that you really need to speak to is the person in charge of all the news and current affairs here at HTV. His name's Ken Reese. Here he is. Hello, Kevin. What can we do for you? How do you do? Well, now you've seen the piece, are we likely to look forward now to uh, hordes of TV cameramen coming around to our stretch of the world? Yes, but probably because they'll see that it's so beautiful and such a relaxing place to be that they'll want to move in there to live. You see, really, no news is good news. And one of the reasons why the Chew Valley doesn't appear as much on television as perhaps more troubled places is because it's such a great place to live. And you showed that very well in the film. So yes, we'll be there. We'll be doing fishing stories on the lake. We'll be doing good country stories and features. But hopefully, it's not going to make a hard news story every day for the top of our bulletin. That's but fun. we'll do the best we can. It's fun just as well. We do like a piece of fire. I, know. I used to live there myself, you see, so I know all this. <laughs> but it was a very nice film and reminded me what a great place it was. <laughs> Many thanks, Ken. <laughs> I think the child support agency should be abolished. <laughs>